Let's take a couple of moments to check out the 2017 lineup of Pioneer's next in-dash receivers. This is the Pioneer AVH 1300 NEX, a double-din receiver with a 6.2-inch touchscreen, three sets of 4-volt RCA outputs for running external amps, full on-screen operation for the navigation app Waze, support for iDatalink Maestro RR, and Apple CarPlay from your iPhone. This is the Pioneer AVH 1330 NEX, this is a double DIN in dash receiver with a 6.2 inch touchscreen. Three sets of 4 volt RCA outputs for running external amplifiers. Full on screen operation for the navigation app Waze. Support for iDatalink Maestro RR. And Apple CarPlay from your iPhone. This is the Pioneer AVH 2300 NEX, a double DIN in dash receiver with a 7 inch motorized touchscreen. Three sets of 4 volt RCA outputs for running external amps. Full on screen operation for the navigation app Waze. Support for iDatalink Maestro RR. Plus Apple CarPlay from your iPhone. And Android Auto from your Android phone. This is the Pioneer AVH 2330 NEX. This is a double DIN receiver with a 7 inch motorized touchscreen. Three sets of 4 volt RCA outputs for running external amplifiers. Full on screen operation for the navigation app Waze. Support for the iDatalink Maestro RR OEM integration unit. And Apple CarPlay from your iPhone. And Android Auto from your Android phone. This is the Pioneer MVH 2300 NEX. This is a mechanism free double DIN in dash receiver with a 7 inch touchscreen. Three sets of 4 volt RCA outputs for running external amplifiers. Full on screen operation for the navigation app Waze. Support for iDatalink Maestro RR. And Apple CarPlay from your iPhone and Android Auto from your Android phone. This is the Pioneer AVH 3300 NEX, a 1 DIN in dash receiver with a 7 inch fully motorized flip out touchscreen. Three sets of 4 volt RCA outputs for running external amps. It's Sirius XM ready and has full on screen operation for the navigation app Ways. And Apple CarPlay from your iPhone and Android Auto from your Android phone. All six of the new Next receivers have a very similar feature set. We'll start off with the five double DIN head units. All five have a 16.7 million color touchscreen. The AVH 1300 NEX and the AVH 1330 NEX have a 6.2 inch touchscreen. The AVH 2300 NEX and the AVH 2330 NEX make it a 7 inch motorized touchscreen and the MVH 2300 NEX is the mechanism free version of the AVH 2300 NEX. Mechanism free means no CD or DVD player built in. But if you don't own any CDs, why do you want a CD player? All have a dedicated backup camera input for operating with the optional NDBC8 backup camera from Pioneer. And they will all work with Pioneer's AVIC U280 add-on navigation system. Each has multicolor illumination with illumination timer and custom background settings for putting your favorite images in the background. All will work with your Android phone or your iPhone for Spotify and Pandora in either a wired or wireless configuration. All have built-in Bluetooth for hands-free calling and wireless streaming audio and voice control through selected devices. On the back of the receiver, you have audio and video auxiliary input and a single USB input that can be used to operate your phone or as a USB audio video source. There's also a steering wheel remote control input when used through a third party adapter. Each has Pioneer's MOSFET 50x4 built in amp chip that can operate four speakers in the vehicle, along with three sets of four volt RCA outputs that can be set up as front, rear, and sub output, or for better sound quality, high, mid, and low output. 
Pioneer's Mixtrax and Advanced Sound Retriever is available on each head unit to operate with your favorite compressed audio files, and each can play back FLAC files up to 24-bit, 96 kHz resolution. There's also a 13-band graphic EQ built into each system. Each works with Sirius XM if you add on the optional SXV300 tuner from Sirius XM and will work with the iDatalink Maestro RR OEM integration unit. In order to run Waze on screen, we use Pioneer's App Radio 1 system. App Radio 1 is an easy one wire USB solution for running selected apps from your Android phone or your iPhone right on the screen of the in dash receiver. Oh, and by the way, Apple CarPlay will work on all of these new Next receivers. Android Auto is available on the larger screens, the 7 inch screen models. What's the difference between the AVH 1300 NEX and the AVH 1330 NEX? The AVH 1330 NEX features HD radio, a second camera input, and it includes a wireless remote control in the box. The same goes for the difference between the AVH 2300 NEX and the AVH 2330 NEX. The AVH 2330 NEX features built-in HD radio, it has a second camera input, and it includes a wireless remote control in the box. Okay, now let's take a look at the one DIN head unit. This is the AVH 3300 NEX. This is the world's first aftermarket one DIN head unit with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. The AVH 3300 NEX carries nearly all of the same features as the AVH 2300 NEX with a couple of exceptions. The AVH 3300 NEX is a one DIN unit with a 7 inch motorized flip out touchscreen. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay are available as well as Sirius XM when adding on the SXV300 tuner from Sirius XM. Please note, the AVH3300 NEX does not support Maestro RR. The AVH3300 NEX has detachable face security shown right here. It has a dedicated backup camera input and it includes a wireless remote control in the box.